about all things safety first. Oh, yeah. Today we are working with a compressor. Welcome, safety Carson, first. to the party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> those, those glasses look slightly damaged or something. <laughs> I mean, anyway, whatever. Okay, so I've, I have a high-speed grinder here with a cutoff wheel. And uh, that's why we're all wearing safety gear. This is a compressor, and so it's a typical compressor that you would have inside of a refrigerator or freezer or something like that. This one is no longer any good. Um, so what we're going to do is cut the top off, just like just like ex just like opening the top of a droid. It's very similar. Anyway, so we're going to cut this off and see what's inside. Okay, are we going? Yep. So, uh, we now have it cut almost all the way around, so we're just going to open this just like you would open the lid on a you want can screw, of beans. Screwdriver? Ah. Ah. Okay, I might have to cut it a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Alright, yeah, we're ready. Are we going? Yep. Here we go. Whoa! There Ooh, it is! Yeah. That's actually a lot cooler than I was looking. Okay, uh, when I was looking, than I was thinking. Okay, alright, look at this. Wow. This right here, this is the defibrillator. <laughs> Just kidding. But look at this, this is really amazing. So, here's the lines that that go to the outside. So this, this looks like it's the, this is the liquid line coming out. Okay, so the high pressure, this is where the high pressure Freon gets pushed out and into the rest of the system. And you can see how it's like this flex connector here. I actually think it's just all copper, but it has this uh, tightly wound wire mm -hmm. around it. And uh, that's what gives it the ability to kind of ride in here. This, this whole assembly is suspended on springs down in the bottom so that it can absorb the vibration. So this, uh, here's a suction line right over here. So this is the line where the Freon comes in. Let's break this cover off. And it looks like, yeah, that kind of comes in right there. It looks, there's, it's actually not connected at all, I don't think. Oh, it just comes straight in the... Can you see that in, down in there? Let's see. Let me turn on the light on this. Okay. So right here where my finger is, there's actually not any, uh, oops. There, this tube doesn't connect directly onto the, let me tap here. There you go. You can kind of see it. This suction line just comes into the the housing, and basically the entire housing acts as like the low side of this um, oh. system. So I mean that that tube that that rubber tube is kind of guiding it in, but this whole assembly in here is at the same pressure as the suction line of the unit. So here's the uh, oh, look. See, we can see this was having issues here. Hmm. And it was stuck, but now it's not stuck anymore. Nice. <laughs> oh, it was at first. It was like stuck right there. Oh yeah, I can. Oh weird, it like stuck again. Huh. So it definitely has failed for some reason. But that is just so. Wow, that's really cool. It's like a little. So this is a piston inside. Here? Yeah. Yeah. That was so, the part that failed. Wow. I mean, this is the head right here. Right. Of the unit. So we wait, should, this. We should take this off. This looks so cool. Oh yeah. Wait and yeah. see. Is that really? That's so cool. This looks like one of the valves right there, but I'm not really sure that it is. How easily does that move? Really when easy it's right now. Freely? But for some reason, right there, it's got a spot where it kind of sticks. Now it's like stuck again. <laughs> so if you think your compressor is bad, just cut it open and see if that's moving <laughs> fine. And then you can just use JB Weld to glue the cover back on. <laughs> Brilliant. And you'll be all good to go. So this is uh, this is the components that you're trying to protect with the filter dryer and such coming in. 
to the unit because you don't want contaminants in this part of the system. But man, it's just amazing. It's amazing that these things are, they're sealed and they're like, you don't change the oil, you don't do anything to them and they'll run for up to 20 years in a refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, that's This little deal crazy. right here is just spinning away like crazy. And hmm. the oil inside of this thing lasts long enough and stays stable enough to keep everything lubricated. So yeah, that's awesome. Um, this is different than a scroll compressor. This is a this is your more traditional reciprocator. Oh, yeah, it gets stuck. Isn't that, isn't that weird? <sighs> yeah, it's weird. They're huh. stuck. But then once you get it rotating, it'll like just keep going. That has nothing to do with like compression or anything, right? No, I don't think so. I think there's some kind of a bearing that's sticking. Huh. Sometimes. Yeah, it has to go back quickly. Yeah. Huh. And it just stopped there. I suppose. And we already knew this failed, so. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We have the new compressor installed. We're just waiting for it to back down right now. But this is this is the first time I've opened one of these up. I should have done it a long time ago. If I knew that this was in here, I would have opened every single one and I would have saved all of them. <laughs> and I would, that would have been I would great. Put them all. Should we reuse this then? Definitely. Okay, I, I really am intrigued to wonder. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm intrigued of, of the thought of like if you could do something else with a compressor, like if you could make this into um, some kind of an engine. Can you see them? Oh, yeah. Let's see. We should cut this, or should we leave it in here? We could cut this right here. If we cut this right here, I bet this whole thing just lifts up. I think up. we should open up the piston area. That's the coolest part. Oh, let really? Me, let me cut this off. Here, pause okay. it for a second. Okay. So we're just going to clip the uh, that line off. Oh, no. It's still pressurized. Obviously, we have electrical connections that must go in through here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. It does look right Wow, well, there are Okay, some... so there's some wires on the bottom there. I'm just going to pull those off. Yeah, well, that was easy. So there we have it. There it is. That's the whole, wow. whole deal. Why so is it the... bubbling? Okay, it's bubbling in there because it's kind of like... Maple syrup. It actually is maple syrup. So if you had some pancakes. <laughs> uh, okay, no. The reason it's bubbling is it's rejecting, it's rejecting refrigerant that is trapped inside of the oil. So Wow. That's really cool. The refrigerant is slowly huh. bubbling out. It's kind of like when you have a Coke or a right. pep pop or whatever. And um, <laughs> the carbon dioxide is like suspended in the liquid. Is it carbon dioxide? Yeah. Carbon monoxide. <laughs> So there's a cat fight happening yes. somewhere. Beautiful. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Like copper. Okay. okay. Wait. So did this move? Yeah, I accidentally bent it because I was trying to get it off the cement. <laughs> Where was it before? It was sitting on the cement. Oh, I know. Okay. Well, oh, this was down further or something. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I didn't change it that much. So. Oh yeah, this was like that. Right. <clears throat> so are those springs just kind of like. Just hanging Are they out? attached? You we should take flip this it over. Yeah, we could see inside the head. Right. But there's the motor. And so it's basically a big electric motor with a little compressor mounted on top of it. <laughs> to make a plug-in vehicle. That is so cool. Get a long extension <laughs> I cannot cord, believe. An electric car that has a gas piston on it. <laughs> I cannot believe that that was always inside of there and I never knew it. Okay, they need to make a, uh, come up with one of these with a the clear clear housing. Ooh, that's a good idea. And oh so man, can, that is so so cool through. how that like just yeah. So is releasing poison ozone eater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So both this tube and this tube were connected just to the case inside of here. So oh, yeah, they just sure come to there and that they hmm. dead end here right. and here. That's why I was telling you that second port hmm. was for checking your pressures. So you can put your PT port over here on this side, and this side was the suction line coming back. And then this side right here is the part where the compressed Freon would go into the condenser. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> that is so cool. This, this, this right here just is the coolest looking part of the whole deal. It's beautiful. So thanks so much for watching. We're going to pull this apart a little bit more, but it's probably just a few valves and things inside of there. I don't know if, I think this thing is a little filter. Actually, you know what? Um, we should really look at that. Pause it again. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're using a 3 16th wrench here. And these are like six-pointed, I don't know, they almost look like torques, like reverse torques. 
Actually, maybe we could use these as Torx bits once we get this off. So we're going to spin these screws <laughs> out. That's and, a good idea. <laughs> and we'll be right back. All right, so we pulled three of them out. This one's kind of interesting. So this is where the condensing line attaches, or the uh, oh. high-pressure port. And this hole right here is just oversized. Yeah. And this bolt tightens it on here, and this seals onto that surface down in there. And then it it funnels the the gases in through this and into that little tube right there. It's really hard to see. Yep. I almost got it. <laughs> Try again. It's hard to focus it. All right, there we go. Yeah, there. You can see there's a hole in the side of that where that is forced <laughs> through this uh, receiver. This is a little receiver here, basically. So some Freon can accumulate in that. Is my guess anyway. All right, let's see if this will come off. Might need to knock it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. There it is. So it looks like it's got some carbon buildup, but we know it's not really carbon. <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. So I can't see the piston yet. Oh, it must be underneath this. That a gasket? <laughs> the cats. <clears throat> oh, yeah, there we go. So this is the valve assembly right here. Oh wow, that so is it's just like a spring dirty, valve. Hmm. So when it pulls the, it would pull the vapor in through this side. That flap right there pushes in when it goes down. See how that flap comes up like oh, that? Yeah. And then mm -hmm. when it pushes back up, it comes through this valve assembly, which is all kind of gunked up. It's a lot of oh, so and there's the piston. I wonder if it was, I wonder if it was, yeah, I bet it was right there on top dead center. It was kind of hitting this and putting it on the extra. Should we, go, should we go look at the cats? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> now we can see the piston and it doesn't stop anymore. Mm -hmm. So the carbon buildup was creating extra pressure on this head right here. Or whatever sort of buildup that was. <laughs> Whatever that stuff was. I mean, normally it would be carbon, but it's probably not carbon. But wow. Huh. That's, That's so cool. All right, let's, uh, I want to look inside of this plastic thing here. So come back in just a minute. All right. All right, so we're going to open this very carefully. Nice. Whoa. So there's nothing inside of there. This was, this was that little gasket pushed up against the inside. Mm -hmm. If you remember right, so that would kind of funnel the gases into there. And look at that! There is a filter. Ooh. It's a fine little screen thing. You could make tea with it. So we're going to use this now to go steam some hot milk <laughs> and make some lattes. That would be so, good. Yeah, that's pretty much all there. And then here's our electrical connections coming into the mm -hmm. motor. So let's come to that side thing. Yeah, that's... Oh, and that's why the plugs can blow out of the whole unit sometimes, hey, you know, right? now actually, we could actually wire this up now. Because this is free again. All we have to do Oh, is... we could run the motor. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I wonder. No, yeah, we could We could definitely do it, but I don't know what the benefit Watch it. would be. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, oh, yep, little... it does turn in circles, guys. Look at that. There's a little thing. They like weren't lying control. to us. Wow. Wow. And now it's free. Free. Free as a bird. All right, well, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you in the next video.